How's it going guys? Once again, welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you my deck that I used to play in a best of three. Um, in a video, uh, Evil Tall EX, Umbreon GX versus a Mega God War against my friend. Um, so, yeah, let's just uh, take a look at the deck. So, uh, I decided to build something a uh, for the fun, something just to use uh, in a casual battle. And uh, I told myself, well, I already played online with uh, Dark Ray and Umbreon GX, and I really like it. So I decided to play uh, Evil Tully X with the Umbreon GX because at the moment when I uh, record video, I didn't have a Taurus GX. So basically, I decided to uh, play with the Umbreon. And to be honest, it was very interesting to play with it. So um, I decided to go with two copies of Evil Tully X, of course. Um, Evil Tully X is a very good card. Um, 170 HP Darkness Pokemon with the Evil Ball and Y Cyclone. So um, with the Evil Ball, you can go for 20 plus and 20 for um, each energy attached to your opponent active Pokemon. And you are Evil Tully X, of course. And the, with the Y Cyclone, you can hit for 90 or 100 with the Fighting Fury Belt. And uh, move one energy from Evil Tull to one of your Banshee Pokemon, which is good because I can move my energies from Evil Tully X to my. Um, Friday Night Evil Tal, I can also move my energies from the Evil Tal to my Umbreon GX. The only bad thing in this video was um, Fairy Pokemons actually have minus 20 resistance to my um, Darkness Pokemon, so I was in a little disadvantage in that matchup. So I goes with two copies of Evil Tal EX. All right, so um, two copies of Evil Tal EX, then I also uh, run. Uh, one Friday Night Evil Tal with the Peach Black Spear, a well-known card, um, very powerful card with the Friday Night, as long as this Pokemon is in active position, uh, tool cards in play will not have effect, so basically he cannot evolve into Mega God of War uh, without losing the turn, and of course with the Peach Black Spear I can spread damage to 60, uh, to one of his uh, EX Pokemons on the bench for 60. Um, I also decided to go with one copy of Jirachi um, with the Stardust, because it's a very good card, um, especially against um, decks who actually uh, run those uh, sp special uh, energy cards. Unfortunately, against Mega Hard War, I didn't have good time because um, he just ran pure um, basic energies in his deck. But also with the Ninja Boy, Stardust from nowhere can be pretty good. And then two copies of Eevee with the Energy Evolution. So uh, when you attach Darkness Energy to Eevee, you can just search your deck for the Umbreon and put Umbreon on your Eevee, that will count as evolving, and you can also do that on your turn one, so that's just pretty damn good. So, I goes with two copies of Eevees, and of course, two copies of a Umbreon GX, as you can see here. 200 HP with the Strafe, Shadow Bullet, and Dark Call GX, very powerful attack. Uh, you can basically discard two energies from your opponents, and Pokemons in play. I really like that attack. Also, Stripe can go for 30 and switch to one of your Banshee Pokemons, and with the Shadow Bullet, I can always attack for 90 and spread damage 30 to the bench. So, in combination with the Pitch Black Spear, that is very, very powerful. And of course, um, the last. Um, okay, not last. <laughs> um, so, I also goes with the uh, one line of the Trabish and Garbodor with the Garbotoxin. Um, so I decided also to build that because I was not sure if my uh, other friend will came with the Greninja break, so I was looking for it to be prepared also for that match. And of course, we took copies of Shamans with the setup. Um, we all know how powerful Shaman is, so when you play uh, Shaman from your hand, you can basically draw cards that you have six in your hand. So, um, item cards. Oh my goodness. Okay, I almost um, collapsed my camera to the... Floor. So, um, four copies of Ultra Balls, of course. Um, pretty much discard two cards from your hand. Um, if you do that, you can search your deck for any Pokemon and put it onto the in your hand. So, four copies of Ultra Ball. Then I'm running a four copies of V Seekers, of course. Um, put a support card from your disc pile back into your hand. Uh, very important because I'm running a lot of different support cards. Um, since the uh, Mega Gardevoir have Brilliant Arrow um, attack, so with 7 energies in play, my my friend can just simply do 210, uh, strike me for 210 and one hit knock at any of my Pokemon. So uh, I didn't take a 
Central Lady inside because I know that I'm going to play against uh, Mega Gardevoir, who can just one hit not get any of my Pokemon, so I decided not to go with the Central Lady. An interesting thing and interesting decision uh, was only three copies of the Max Elixirs instead of the four. That was the reason um, because I was searching for the space for um, two copies of XP shares also. Uh, in this build. Um, three copies of Trainer's Mails, of course, look at the top four cards of your deck, um, you might reveal a Trainer card you find there and just put it into your hand. So yeah, um, XP share. Uh, when you play, uh, when your active Pokemon is knocked out by a damage uh, from opponent's attack, you might just uh, move one basic energy card from that Pokemon to the Pokemon that a XP share is attached. So that was very important for me because um, sometimes I can just Attack with Evil Tally X, uh, Y cycling, and know that I'm gonna be knocked out. I can just move my double Clover's energy and simply also, after I get knocked out with my Evil Tally X, also have that Darkness energy, uh, for example, on my Umbra energy X, and I was uh, able to go with a Shadow Bullet. So, um, two copies of a XP share, of course. Then, uh, two copies of Fighting Fury Belt as a tool, so um, extra 40, extra 40 HP, and extra 10 damage. Um, very important, but as I said, uh, already seven energies in play for Mega God of War, and all of my Pokemons can be just one hit knocked out. Even Umbreon EX, uh, even Umbreon GX, because he's stage one and Fighting Fury Belt will not work on him. Um, two copies of Float Stones uh, for the Fury Retreat uh, mainly, and uh, for the Garbatoxin. Uh, single special charge, just to be able to recycle my. Um, double cores energies from this compiled back into my deck. Uh, one copy of Super Road, uh, also for the good consistency, uh, cycling back my um, regular uh, basic energy cards, or maybe even if I need um, Jirachi, a Friday Night Evil Tal, maybe even Evil Tal EX, maybe Garbler, Trubbish, whatever. Um, uh, one copy of Escape Probe, of course. Always good, because from nowhere you can just uh, have that extra switch. Um, one copy of Enhanced Hammer also was a dead card against that Mega Guardi uh, battle. Unfortunately, with that en Enhanced Hammer, I was not able to do uh, anything. But sometimes Enhanced Hammer basically can be very good because uh, you can go with the Enhanced Hammer, you can go with Dark Cold GX, and let's say you even have um, something like a Team Flare Grunt. In single turn, you can just discard four energies in total, which is just insane. Um, stadium decision for me was just a single Pearl City. Um, that was pretty much it. I decided uh, I was thinking about uh, playing two copies of Pearl Cities, but then later I just told myself, well, why would you go with two copies of Pearl City without Deliquent? Um, you're also gonna lose a Stadium War. Let's just go better with one copy of Pearl City and Deliquent, so we can also have that extra disruption, uh, just in case if we manage to um, get that Dark Cold GX pretty early in the game. But unfortunately for me, that didn't happen. Uh, also, one copy of Olympia. Always good to have. Always good to have Olympia because it can provide me a heal for 30. It can also give me a free switch. So I always like to run Olympia, especially with a high retreat cost. Uh, all of my Pokemons actually have two retreat retreat cost. Um, Team for a Grant. Times one. And discard a energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon with a V Seeker. I can just use that multiple times. Same. Same as one copy of Ninja Boy, um, as I mentioned earlier, from nowhere I can just swap even my Evil Tally X uh, with something like a Jirachi exchange, maybe um, two prizes uh, for one, which can be good in some cases. Um, also, I can just um, Ninja Boy um, from my Friday Night Evil Tally into my Evil Tally X uh, for the bigger uh, damage output, uh, or Pretty much from even Jirachi into something else, or even from the Eevee into Trubbish, or even from Trubbish to Shaman, or yeah, whatever. Um, a single Lysander, um, switch one of your opponent, and bench it Pokemons with uh, his or her um, active Pokemon. Of course, two copies of N, um, very good card. You need to have uh, at least two copies of N. I would like to run three copies of them, but I didn't find space for the third one. Uh, also, four copies of Professor Sycamore, this card hand drop seven. Yeah, that's just um, staple. That's just staple in pretty much every deck. And of course, um, from energies, I goes with a four copies of double colors energies. And guess what? Eight darkness energies, which will be 60 cards in total. You wouldn't believe me, but there is a 60 cards in total, of course. Uh, because if you have more than 60 or less, 
uh, your deck is not going to be legal and that's going to be against the rules. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this uh, video. Um, so that was pretty much a Evil Tully X, uh, Umbreon uh, GX uh, deck that I used to play in a best of three uh, video um, with that um, Umbreon GX versus Mega God of War. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to dislike this video if you didn't like it, but you should hit the like, of course. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more future videos. If you have any questions, don't forget to, don't forget to leave comments below. Uh, also, check me on the Facebook and on Twitter. Make sure to like also my Facebook page. That would mean a lot to me. So, until um, the next time, have a nice day wherever you are and uh, goodbye.